Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Edu Anchor. And before I begin anything, I would like to really offer my condolences to the family of young 16-year-old Shadil Parsons, tra who tragically passed away a few days ago. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that uh, it's safe for me to say that this tragedy has touched the entire Virgin Islands community. You know, it's not just a family. And I want to encourage us to unite in our support for the family and each other as we pray for the strength to endure these challenging times because a lot is happening in the territory now and we need to really come together, unify to deal with some of the challenges that we are facing as adults and that our children are facing. And we need to really give our support to this family and to each other in this uh, tragic time. So again, uh, on behalf of my family, I offer sincere condolences to the family of young 16-year-old Chadil Parsons. We have an uh, uh, interesting program tonight. It's uh, a lot of fun-filled activities coming up during the month of December, end of November through December. The director of the BVI Tourist Board, Mrs. Sharon Flaxmars, is here with me tonight. And we are going to be talking about all the events that's coming up uh, in the uh, end of November, December. Uh, we've had uh, the culinary arts, uh, the cook off, a whole, a whole host of, of entertainment, lobster fest, and there's a lot like coming up this year. There's a whole expansion of, uh, the, the, of the food fed. So there's a, there's, a lot, there's, a lot, there's a lot coming up in tourism and, and, and activities to enjoy in the territory uh, next um, in the month, the month or so ahead, in the end of November and through December. So stay tuned. We're going to take a break for a word from our sponsors. And when we come back, uh, we're going to talk to the director of the Tourist Board, Ms. Sharon Flax Mars. Sean Rose is off tonight, so it's just us. Stay tuned. Don't go away. We'll be right back after these words. Spotlight is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands and CCT Global Communications. Life's like a mountain, you must climb. Life is like a treasure, you must find. A baby learning how to talk. With just one step begins to walk. One step at a time. We lead you to paradise. Your dreams are there to find One step to paradise Who's to blame? Did you do this? Are you doing this? You will be fined or jailed You're hurting our community You're hurting our economy You must take a stand Act now And report illegal dumpers to the Department of Waste Management at 468-4934. Stop illegal dumping in our country. It's not even about being bigger. David and Goliath taught us that. It's about being better than you were yesterday. At CCT, we're committed to building on better. Better music downloads, better videos, better online gaming, better internet, so your kids can get their homework done at better hours. Better customer support when you need it the most. A better everything makes a better BBI so that you could work better and live better. You see, at CCT, we're not only a local company. We're a better company with the real 4G network. Visit your CCT flagship store today and experience CCT Life Unlimited. <laughs> Welcome back to Spotlight. I want to go right to my guest, Sharon. It's good to see you. Yes, nice to see you as well, Cromwell. And thanks for inviting the BVI Tourist Board. I, uh, you know, I always have fun. 
when the tourist board is on spotlight or when the spotlight is on the tourist board. It's on the tourist board, <laughs> yes. Okay? Because y'all are doing um, a lot of fun things. And, 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 and I have to commend the, 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 the tourist board for creating, not just sitting back and waiting for things to happen, but creating events and activities for us to enjoy internally and, and activities that we could eventually market internationally. Yes, it's important for us to, um, to do that. Um, as far as tourism is concerned, it's so important to stay current and to stay relevant, but also to be at the top of the game. And that's where we're trying to take, um, take BVI to top of the game in tourism and offering something different, something that's uniquely uh, BVI that offers an experience to, um, to the visitor, and as you said, also something that BVI landers and residents can, uh, can enjoy and be able to talk about as well. Yes, and I, I don't know how many people uh, understand what's, what's happening here and the economic benefits of, of what the Tourist Board is doing and what that means for the product. Yes, um, it is important to recognize that because we know that uh, we're challenged with having a year-round uh, industry and this is one of the attempts of the of, of the tourist board to uh, create an event that drives traffic into uh, a time of the year or a month where we're starting to move into the busy season but it's still not at um at a peak it's also at the time of the year where we find that um our visitors are starting to travel because it's getting a bit colder in the um you know in the u.s and the uk but again we want to be able to sell a little bit more than sun sand uh, and sea and creating niche events is uh, is something that the board is definitely um looking at to um differentiate us and of course on uh, generation of of economic activity and it generates the revenue the yes the uh, circulation of revenue the into, dollar into the territory yes and and into a time of uh, a time of the year where there's maybe not as much revenue being generated uh so you know it, it helps to ease the transition from the very very slow season and it also um, helps to make the um, the properties the hotels restaurants taxi drivers everyone become in tune to what's um, going on and to get their game back because sometimes you you end up going from 50 percent and then all of a sudden you're at 90 95 percent and uh, sometimes that's challenging to deal with so this eases eases the transition and puts money into everyone's pocket Absolutely, and as you say, this this improves uh, economic uh, activity across various sectors: uh, uh, transportation, restaurants, uh, all, all all hotels, all, yes. all enter cars. All all the sectors benefit from these act. All these, the sectors and the different activities. islands, because you'll notice that what what we've done in creating a full month of activities is that we've tried to spread the activities around the, the various islands. So it's not as if all of the activities are in Tortola or on Virgin Gorda. We, we're incorporating Anagata, um, as we did last year with the Lobster Fest. And now we're, it was a successful event, so we're expanding it out even a little bit more. And as well, expanding to Joss Mendai, Cooper Island, and some of the surrounding islands, mm -hmm. getting everyone, everyone involved. Yes, so let's go, go, um, go to the month. And, and, and talk about all the activities, well, at least give a list for give now. Give you a few, okay. For, all, for the activities <laughs> as um, planned, and I see here from, from my notes that you got we have quite, quite a, a few. Quite quite a a few. few. It is an interesting, an interesting month, and uh, we've, it, it actually runs the gamut. Um, we have uh, components that are uh, purely food and beverage generated, but we also have events that are geared on, and that have an education uh, component. So um, we uh, essentially start out on uh, November 1 uh, with our activities, and we run um, all the way through um, November 30th. Um, some of the, uh, in the early part of the month, you'd find that it's primarily uh, the major... November 1 to December 30th. November 1 to November 30th. To November, so it's oh, a full oh, month. A full month of November. A full okay. month of November. November is also tourism month. 
and um, we said, you know, maybe we should celebrate it, you know, with, oh, okay. um, with food and, um, and culture. So we start November 1. We have several uh, properties participating where they're hosting their special events. They're hosting food programs. They're bringing in uh, special chefs, uh, for example, um, Scrub Island, uh, Peter Island, Little Dick's Bay uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on the top end where they have full programs within the, uh, with, within the hotels that they're offering to, to, the, to their guests as well as uh, those of us who live in the islands or visiting and staying in villas and other properties. Um, when we get down to, you know, a little further, um, you know, further in, um, in the month, we, um, we look at partnerships with some of our different companies in the BVA. We have a major event with uh, Caribbean Sellers, uh, where they're hosting a, um, a block party uh, on the 8th of, um, of November. And the following uh, week is when we have the Taste of Tortola, as well as the Taste of Virgin Order. And those are events where we host um, our celebrity chef, uh, visiting celebrity chefs, but we also have the restaurants and the BVI participating in cook-offs. We also have incorporated, which is new, um, a bar crawl, which is going to take place in, uh, in Virgin Order, and it's called uh, On the Rocks because we have lots of rocks, and when you have beverages, sometimes you have them on the rocks. On the rocks. Yes, and, and a bar crawl is what? And um, the bar crawl is essentially a, um, an activity where you go from, um, from bar to bar. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is we're, we're bar crawling, but we're crawling by safari. And, um, and this as well is, uh, is one of the events that is, um, that is, a, is a partnership with, um, with one of the major um, purveyors here in the BVI, Caribbean Cellars. Mm -hmm. So we're crawling to six different bars by safari. You can purchase um, a ticket through Caribbean Cellars. And the ticket, your ticket, which is a bit different, your ticket is a t-shirt. So mm -hmm. when you go to buy a ticket for the bar crawl, you it get is a t-shirt. And that is your ticket to get on the ferry. There are special, uh, special rates with the ferry. And we have been um, very lucky to partner as well with Speedies, who's going to have the ferry leave later um, in Virgin God on a Saturday so night. So the ferry schedule is going to match the, the ferry activities. The ferry is going to have the activity as well. Mm -hmm. And we'll be crawling to different places, um, Leverick Bay, Hog Heaven, the Baton Turtle, Sauces, which is a new, um, a new bar, and one of the staples, Rock Cafe. So you'll have specialty, um, specialty drinks. Um, you're going to have um, bar hosts, so to speak, and I'm going to be crawling as well, so which is um, it's very interesting. <laughs> so you, so you, go, you can go and, and taste the various specialty drinks. You can taste the different drinks at the different, bars. the different bars. There's going to be games. There's going to be prizes. As we get closer, Caribbean sellers as well will give a little bit more information on how it works. You can crawl as an individual or you can crawl as a team. Mm -hmm. uh, another new activity that we're putting on in November is what we call the... A barefoot soiree, which is actually uh, um, it's a it's a it's an event that is going to be fantastic in uh, in my opinion. It's something a, a bit different. It is a a, a dinner, a feature dinner, but it's um, you're going to be dressed elegantly but barefoot. Mm. Um, it's going to be held in the Sands over at, um, at Peter Island. Uh, they're participating with us as a t sponsor. And our visiting celebrity chefs are the ones who are going to be working on the menus. The difference with this menu is that all of the items on the menus that are offered have to be indigenous BVI um, products, mm. whether it be um, local meat, uh, fish, lobster, ground provisions, uh, ground provisions vegetables, desserts, whatever, vegetables. Whatever. But that is the instructions that we have, um, that we have given to, uh, to the chefs, and we're partnering with Rotown Wholesale on that. But what I'm most excited about with that particular function is that uh, the proceeds from that dinner will go towards funding a grant to, um, to a high school student who's graduating who is interested in a, in a career in hospitality, tourism, or the culinary arts. Mm. So be sure to get your tickets um, 
your tickets for that one. That's that's a, that's good. That's really a, and, a good um, idea. And then we have our staple, which is uh, our signature event, which is of course um, the Lobster Fest. And now uh, we're anticipating very um, very big crowds uh, in that one. And of course, uh, I'm always um, a proponent of education. Yes. So what we've done with our uh, visiting uh, chefs is to include an education component for the high school uh, students. So we already have, I, I believe it's close to 200 students who are signed up, both on Virgin mm -hmm. Order and Tortola, and this includes both the um, public and the private uh, high schools. And the idea is that they will spend a day being exposed to the uh, culinary arts. And um, we're hoping that out of that program, we'll be able to, um, to have a few young people who determine that they would like to be uh, in the culinary, in the culinary mm -hmm. arts. In the, prof in the profession? Yes. And of course, you have the junior chef competition. Of course. And the junior chef competition is something that, um, that we have, uh, we held it in Virgin Order about two years ago. And um, we are going to be hosting the event um, again this year. Um, and this, this event is in partnership again with Little Licks Bay. So we're doing a junior chef competition, but we're also doing a, a table setting uh, mm -hmm. competition as well. And the idea is that some of those same students who are going to be involved in the table setting and the junior chef competition will be incorporated into our barefoot soiree mm -hmm. so that they will be doing some of the service, the table the service, service, and the younger chefs would be assisting the, uh, the, 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 the celebrity food. chefs. That, that's, that sounds like a, a, a big deal. And of course, we're going to have the, the lobster fest in Anagata this year. What, what, what's going to be different? Well, the good thing with the, with the Lobster Fest, we had a meeting this afternoon and um, the, uh, the chairperson for that particular committee indicated last year we had eight participating restaurants mm -hmm. and this year we have 12 mm. participants. So we're very happy about that. Um, you know, I've talked before about some of the, you know, some of the opportunities that we saw from the event last year that, um, that we've worked on. So we've been working with the Taxi Commission uh, the taxi drivers of, um, of Anagata, and um, we've worked out a, a, a system to better move persons um, around. Around, uh, around, the, around the island with ticketing. Some of the tickets are going to be available on board the ferries as we move back and forth. But in the coming weeks ahead, we'll be able to provide uh, more information on exactly how, um, how that works. So we're excited about the, um, the partnership and um, the communication process with the persons in Anagata so uh, everyone is, is better prepared. Um, I would like to publicly commend a lot of the government agencies um, who we've reached out to in saying, you know, we need to look at um, sanitation, we need to look at, um, at movement of persons, we need to look at, po at the port facility, and all of them have come on board, including the airport authority, to make Anagata more, um, more welcoming uh, for us as well as from a tourism, tourism perspective. Yeah. And, 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 and I have a, a little, uh, so a couple of pet peeves. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but we've made sure and we've started out your bag for you this year. So. Th oh, my bag? Yes. Th okay. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, make sure I get my bag. <laughs> Right. Are we still having the beads and going we're around? Still, um, different? We're still having uh, we're still having the beads, mm -hmm. but um, we're trying to make it a little bit more. Uh, as I said, a bit more organized. The mm -hmm. tourist ward is going to have a representative in each of the in each of the restaurants um, to assist in, in in flow and for providing information on board the ferries and the transportation as well. We'll be providing a map and um, directions and instructions uh, to make it a you know to make make the entire day easier to um to understand yeah well my pep i i, I wanted to go to to uh, the faulkner museum yes yes and i wanted and when i went to see the the iguanas, the iguanas. and okay. i wanted to see the flamingos yes and i didn't know that they were a kind of an organized tour that you could get to go to the flamingos yes so 
I we, we were only able to pass on the bridge and look in a distance and see them from and, yes. and see the, uh, the, the the this pink thing over there. <laughs> and every time we passed the bridge, we were hoping to see them flying, but they were all in the water, the same place. So at one point, we thought there were no flamingos; they were just some some pink uh, I artificial. I was as disappointed art as you were. Artificial flamingos, you <laughs> flamingo stuck in the water. Like, no, yeah. no, we wouldn't do that to you. It's a real <laughs> experience. We've encouraged the drivers, the taxi drivers, on that end as well to to look at putting together different tours and we will there will be an information desk as well available mm -hmm. just as you come off the pair so they, that all that will be promoted yes and we'll to be able provide to, information to get those tours to go to see yes. the flamingos and we're actually um we've been working on a small guide um book for anagada which we're hoping to launch as well that weekend that provides additional information on what to see and what to do uh, in Anagata. And I thought that the iguana uh, uh, site could have been uh, a little more attractive. Yes, uh, we've reached out to, um, to National Parks and they've mm -hmm. assured us that, um, that they're doing some, some work on it. We do have someone from the uh, tourist board who is um, the rep as we say, the, the rep from the tourist board side responsible for, um, for Anagata. And he makes uh, weekly visits to, to Anagata. So I'm hopeful that I'll be getting an update from him again on, on, on Friday as to uh, what progress has been made on some of the, some of the things that um, we feel needs a little bit the of uh, improvement. Yeah. Yes. And the Falcon Museum was... Uh, was closed. Yes. And I uh, had grass that was up to my waist. Unfortunately, and the cows had taken it uh, you over. know, I, I, I try to be, you know, very honest about the situation. The, the Faulkner Museum does pose a little bit of a challenge mm -hmm. um, for us. Um, we've reached out, and uh, unfortunately, that particular, um, you, you know, museum won't be uh, open in time for the. Um, for the Anagata Lobster Festival, it needs um, needs some some work, and um, it's something that that we realize we have to we have to do some more work on. Okay, now uh, the 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 hotels in Anagata now are talking about uh, uh, two night stays. Yes, and and <coughs> and one of the things that I was hoping to to see was uh, entertainment in the night because if you're going to uh, to to stay for two nights, you want something then to do you have night. to have something to do in the night. And, and again, that's where um, I know Rodney, who heads the committee um, for the Anagata Lobster Fest, as, as well as Clive, um, Kyle Harrigan, who's the representative for uh, Anagata, and Shireen Flax, the Sister Island um, manager. They've been working with the Anagata businesses uh, and saying, we need you to, within your business and within your business plan, look at uh, hosting some music events or something to, you know, to, to keep the visitor um, occupied. We, we, it, we have been told at the tourist board that maybe we should host these events, but we're a firm believer that some of these events, um, we're just a driver. These are events that should be left for the business, um, the business community. But they have stepped up and they have advised us that some of them have bands, some have, um, you DJs. know, some have DJs, some are thinking of doing, um, you know, a late night movie. Um, so as we get those details on what the late night uh, activity would be, we will be posting them on our website. We do have a website uh, dedicated to the lobster, to the um, to the food fed. It's BVI food fed. Very easy. It has all the information, the calendars, the dates, information on the on the chefs, transportation schedules, the shuttlers. So it's still in uh, in progress. Uh, as long as we get information, and we we're getting information daily, we're updating uh, updating the site. Okay, we're gonna take a break. Wonderful. <laughs> For a word from our sponsors, I know you, you got. We it's got a, a lot, lot of information. It's a lot of information. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna take a break for a word from our sponsors, and we're gonna come back and we, we, you outline a lot of things that um, you're going to be doing for the month of November. But I think we need to get some, a little more meat more on the details, bones, a little sure. more details, and, and flesh out some so that uh, persons watching can, can get a, a better idea of how to participate and what it actually of is going course. to take place. So keep it locked right in the spotlight. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Spotlight is brought to you by 
Tortola Concrete Limited, and H. Lavity Stout Community College. Serving the community for over 25 years, Tortola Concrete Limited is the leading producer of concrete products in the BVI. With grades of 3,000 to 5,000 PSI, Tortola Concrete, when you make quality unmatched in the industry, and we can mix to your specifications. Our aggregates are clean through our unique washing process for our smooth, clean mix. And our special chilling process makes our concrete crack resistant. Tortola Concrete Limited is the concrete company for all your quality concrete products. Gravel. Road base, face stone, boulders, armor rock, coarse sand, terrace, and the cleanest, strongest, crack resistant, ready mix concrete. Tortola Concrete Batch Plant serve you Monday to Saturday, 7 a.m. until the last load. Our knowledgeable, effective staff gives you free estimate and delivers on time to any location. Contact Tortola Concrete at 494 3259, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.20 p.m. Conveniently located in Parkwood Pond near the BVI Electricity Plant. At Tortola Concrete Limited, the strength is in the mix. He's been working so hard on this. I am so extremely proud of him. My father Emerson Reza philosopher once said, and I quote, To finish the moment, to find the journey's end in every step of the road, to live the greatest number of good hours, is wisdom. Being a single parent, my husband died. Juggling work, children, school was stopped. But I did it. I feel like I have a first start in life. HSCC has definitely exceeded my expectations. I am the younger of two in my family, but I am the first to go off to a university. HSCC has given me the right job start to pay in my success. You don't come to college just to come to college. You come to college to graduate. Just coming out of high school at a very young age, age of SEC was the ideal stepping stone to prepare me for the greater world. It's right at home with great facilities and great lecturers. My college experience was phenomenal. to stop illegal dumping in our Virgin Islands. Report offenders to the Department of Waste Management at 468-4934. Barefoot Gourmet Soiree, with proceeds donated towards hospitality scholarships for local students. Or experience an evening with our participating hotels, hosting visiting chefs from around the globe. Join our Restaurant Week cook-off and sample special discounted menu items. Every Friday of the month, our chefs prepare savory local dishes. Head to Virgin Gorda for the first ever On the Rocks Bar Brawl. This Food Filled Month climaxes on the Drowned Island at the second annual Anagata Lobster Festival. Visit www.bbifoodfet.com or call the BBI Tourist Board at 284-494-3134 for more details. Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm having a really, really interesting conversation with Sharon Flaxmarsh. She's the director of the Tourist Board and a whole bunch of events coming up in the BVI for the month of November. And we have a discussion about these events. Uh, there's a lot, uh, Sharon, 
that a lot of information that you have. Yes, a lot of information. In fact, I have to have some of it written down to kind of keep everything, try to keep everything straight. Yes, it's true. Um, I know there's a, a, give the site again, people could go, because we're not going to be able to get out all the information. No, and it's um, BVI Food Fed. Very easy, bvifoodfed.com. If you don't remember, bvifoodfed.com. Just go to the BVI Tourism website yes. and there would be an icon that would lead you right into the into the food fed site and of course you could always call the tourist board. you can of course always call the, the tourist, tourist board 494-3134 yes. or stop any one of our employees tourist board employees yes. um they should be able to give you the details as well absolutely because there's a lot there's a lot going on now <clears throat> the f the f is going to kick off. This these events going to kick off on November first. Kick off November first. And uh, with with what? The thing is, on November first, and um, the kick off is primarily um, activities specifically at the hotel. So on the on the first night, the first kick off night, you're looking at a six course dinner at um, at Rosewood Little Dicks Bay. And every, almost every night there's something to do in the BVI um, in the month of November related to food. So um, it helps the visitor as well too to know that there's something different, something that's um, possibly cultural um, with a music component that they can enjoy. And, um, on, the, on the second, we have a feature with um, Scrub Island. They're going to be featuring a Caribbean street um, barbecue so you can call you know scrub and get some more information um, from them on that then we move to the night of the third again something at scrub but this one is something with a twist they actually have a mushroom menu mm. um, at um, scrub island it's game and mushroom so something a little edgy, something a little different, because you do have visitors who travel the world just for, just for food and looking for a different experience in food. So this is one way to show them as well that, yes, we have Caribbean uh, cuisine and we're proud of BVI cuisine, but we can do something um, different and that's on par with the rest of the and world And when you say mushroom well. and game, when you, what do you mean game? Game as in, um, as in game, such as like something like uh, venison, Okay. Something that's, that's, that's a little what I different. Thought, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 meat. Meat. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Game meat. Yeah, meat. And then mm -hmm. we move to the to the fourth. There's a dinner at Peter Island on uh, on the on the fourth as well as the fifth and the sixth, where they will have chefs visiting and they're going to combine their menus with uh, a menu with wine. And then we move on into the seventh, where it's a little bit more, you know, my kind of style, where we're having a cultural fish fry at the Crafts Alive um, village. Um, for those of us a little, a little older, you know, we love the, yes. we love the fish fry. The fried fish you and Johnny cake. Fried fish and Johnny cake, um, pot fish as we call it. Yeah. And this as well as to showcase and to show visitors and to remind us BVI landers what a, an old time fish fry uh, was like and what better place to have something like that then the Crafts Alive um, village. Mm -hmm. And again, we're hoping that the, uh, that the store owners at the village, it what is nice to see Crafts Alive, the Craft Alive village open at night. Yes. And again, this is something It's a that, pretty village. Yes, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. So we do something one night and what we look at at the tourist board is, okay, maybe we do something for one night, but we look at, okay, does it work? Can we expand it into something in the future? Maybe the Craft Alive Village is something that can be open once a week, every Friday night, hosting yeah. a very ethnic and local Cultural kind event. of experience mm -hmm. uh, for visitors. So that's on a Friday night. And then on the Saturday evening, November 8th, it kicks right up with the Caribbean Sellers Block Party. And um, there's, that's going to be where? And that's going to be at the uh, Caribbean Cellars um, parking lot. And it actually begins at 2, um, at two in the afternoon. Uh, there is an entry fee for, uh, for that event. And there's going to be music um, as well. The featured band at that event um, will be Vibe. And they're going to be featuring cocktail stations with um, BVI mixologists. Mm. So Caribbean Cellars is going to grab some of our more popular um, Mixologists. Mixologists. Mm -hmm. We're not saying bartenders, bartenders anymore. anymore. We're saying mixologists. mixologists. Yes. And they're going to show us what they can do with uh, Caribbean, uh, Caribbean rum. We're essentially, um, you know, trying to feature as well 
or local rum, um, Carlwood, um, the car yes, rum from the Carlwood, Carlwood Distillery. distillery. Mm -hmm. So you'll find that with a lot of our events um, for the um, BVI Food Fest, that we will be featuring uh, that uh, rum and putting together and trying to feature a lot of beverages that include um, the, the different rums from the Carlwood Distillery. And then, of course, how can we forget the uh, painkiller? So yes. there'll be a painkiller station um, as well. And, you know, most of, our, most of um, you know, Caribbean people tend to like a good, Carib a good beer. Yes. So there'll be a, a, a sta station as well at that event a Caribbean to, beer. to show different, um, different beers. Mm -hmm. And again, we look at expanding that event out in future years to have someone who, um, from a brewery, um, and who specializes in telling us the differences with the different bears? Come on board and let us know. Um, get an education with get bears. Educa exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were hoping to get that done this year, but um, we were not successful. So that's something for us to aim, you but, know, to aim but towards. Next year. Mm -hmm. Yes. So again, Cromwell, there's a lot. There's a lot happening. Okay. So that was on the 8th. That was on the 8th, mm -hmm. um, which is so that weekend is um, is primarily in in Tortola. Um, during the next week, we're looking at activities at uh, Peter Island. Um, the watering hole is going to be featuring uh, wine tastings. And then the two events that are very exciting um, for, for me to see is where the chefs compete uh, against, uh, against one another. So we call them the Taste of the BVI. Mm -hmm. And we have a Taste of Tortola which is on the Friday um, afternoon in the, um, in the Noah Lloyd Park right. on the uh, 14th, and then in Virgin Water on the 15th. As I t told in, you before... In Virgin Water where? In Virgin Water is going to be at the Virgin Water uh, Yard Harbor. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're very excited about this event because it pits all local chefs um, against the, the international, um, chef. international chefs. And our local chef, chef won the last time. And exactly, so, exactly. So they better come good. They better come good. Yeah. And I think it's something exciting for mm. us to see. Uh, this year, we're proud that the Department of Agriculture has um, teamed up with us for the activity in Tortola. And they're going to be featuring um, local BVI beverages, um, from wines to Tom and juice and passion you know fruit. passion fruit juice sour sap. So Mommy. we thought it was a good yes. you know it was a good marriage and um, and we're gonna have the ground provisions. Uh, the, the, the 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 food is gonna be mostly local. Local. Uh, What's going food. to happen with the food is that we are going to uh, Rotown Wholesale mm -hmm. is going to be providing us with a mystery basket, and the uh, the different restaurants that are participating in the taste of um of uh, in the chefs competition will have a certain amount of time to be able to prepare um, the, the, the meal for judging. We will have sample stations as well, like the last time, so you can come down and sample from the, um, from the different restaurants. Some of these same restaurants will be participating in Restaurant Grand Week. week. Uh, we're looking right now at a total of, uh, and still adding, of over 30 restaurants um, mm. participating in the Restaurant Week where the restaurants offer special menus at great prices um, for us to sample and as well for them to see what works for them going into the season. And I, I, and I, I was telling you off here before the program uh, started that I got a lot of good ideas from, from the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the cook off, the, what, what we call it in the Noel Eye Park? Yes. Yeah, the, the, the food exhibition in, in, in the Noel Eye Park. I got. Uh, the, the, the mashed tanya idea, I got the banana salad idea. Yeah, uh, and it's good to see what they do with the, the local bread, ingredients. The, bread, the, the breadfruit, the breadfruit. breadfruit chips. Yes. I, I got, yeah, I got a, a lot of ideas yeah, because, you know, you, 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 you have green banana, for example, and you just boil green banana. We take it for granted yeah. and we just do it one, one way. way. Yeah. And you can you serve can do it so many, many, different, many different, um, different ways. And, 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 and an exciting taste yes. and a different feel all together. And it's interesting sometimes to see what the celebrity chefs do uh, with it. I remember in Virgin Water with the celebrity chef, he had never seen a breadfruit um, before. Mm -hmm. So it was interesting for him because he had to ask, you know, the other chefs questions as to, you know, what to really do with it. Yeah. So those two events are, are exciting, uh, creates a lot, of exci a lot of excitement for the persons watching 
um, creates excitement for the chefs. And each of the, uh, what we're trying to accomplish this year as well from an education front is to have each of the restaurants that are participating in the cook-off have a junior chef. Uh, apprentice yes. or be with them so that they can get um, they can get that feel they can get that um, that excitement okay great so then we, so and we have so, have so we're now we're now down to just the, the the second week and on the the night of the of the 15th is when we have the bar crawl Okay, uh, in, and in, that's in Virgin, Virgin Gorda. Gorda. That's in Gorda. So, so we're all going up so to Virgin Gorda. So you're all coming over to Virgin Gorda. Gorda. We're, we're, going by we're crawling and we're crawling safely. Yes, there'll be alcohol, but we're making sure we're putting in water stations. We're making sure that, um, you know. And, and, and you don't have to drive because a bus is going to take you around. You don't have to drive right. because we have, uh, safari, we have safari take, buses. Gonna, gonna take you around. And we're making sure that we're putting you back on the, the, on the, the, on the ferry. ferry. And we'll have, you know, again, because we want it to be safe. We will have, you know, tourist board employees on the other end here in Tortola in the event that we need to make sure that persons need um, need a ride home because we need to be responsible um, Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yes. We're going to take a break, another break. Yes, of yes. course. And when, we, <laughs> and when we come, when we come back, we're going to continue uh, up to the end of the month. And then we're going to talk about um, what we're doing to market to the international yes. community and what the... And, and what the goal, the ultimate goal and vision of all these events. We got about 15 minutes remaining. Yes. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Don't go away. Spotlight is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands and CCT Global Communications. What are you doing with your life? Have you heard? Clarence Thomas Limited Home Centers is making things more affordable in the British Virgin Islands. We are making things better for you during these hard times by reducing prices throughout our stores, using our new pricing strategy. But wait, there is more. Created exclusively for our loyal customers, now there is a rewards program implemented just for you. Sign up to become a loyalty member and be the first to get member perks such as exclusive email offers, members only discounts, private sales event, and much, much more. Our loyalty program gives you savings and benefits that will be equal to or better than our crazy sales of past years. With our loyalty program, you'll get monthly specials on items exclusively only for our loyalty customers at prices that won't be matched. Enroll in our loyalty program today. It's free. It's easy. Get ready, BVI, for lower prices at Clarence Summers Limited Home Centers. Clarence Thomas Limited, your number one stop for the best products at the lowest prices, period. Locally owned and operated since 1967. I hear to find out about my husband's social security. Okay. Did he put a bad accident? Yes. This my husband gave my show. He went to Puerto Rico? Yeah. It was a serious accident, you know. But I don't get some of that security money. Miss. Your husband's contributions are not up to date. What? What do you mean by that? Remember, you must secure your tomorrow today. Check on your contribution status right away. Cheers to the BBI's Restaurant Week this November 14th to the 23rd. Food lovers, rejoice! This is the week where dining is reduced to meet everyone's budget. Our participating restaurants are opening their doors for you to experience the finest cuisine in the British Virgin Islands. Discounted menus make it more inviting for you and your family or friends to enjoy a night of dining. Join us for the Visiting Chef Cook-Offs and watch our local chefs compete for the title against a Food Network Chop Champion. Taste of the BBI starts on Tortola at the Noah Lloyd Positive Action Movement Park on November 14th from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. and in Virgin Gordon's Yacht Harbor on November 15th from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. Foodie fans, this one is for you. Visit www.bbifoodfed.com for more information.
Welcome back to Spotlight. I'm here with Sharon Flaxmars, Director of the Tourist Board. And man, we're talking about a lot of events coming up November, November 1st, all the way to a the end of the month. A lot of eating. A lot of eating. A lot of eating. So BBI Food Fest. Yes, Food Fest. Uh, food Fest. Yeah, so a big, big food party. Food party. Yeah, big food, food and drink party. party. Food and drink party. And all for the whole month. All we're going to do is eat and drink. Yeah, so then we, you know, and then after that we relax for two weeks and then it's Christmas, it's Christmas and we start again. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, double my exercise. <laughs> I, think, I think all of us will, all of us will have to do that. Yeah, but we were at the 15th, the 14th or the 15th, and we were talking about uh, all the different events are coming up. And we were talking about uh, restaurant week. And I, I want us to get into what's happening on Restaurant Week on Tortola, particularly where we have mm -hmm. a lot of local restaurants that's going to be involved in Restaurant Week as yes, well. Yes, uh, for us, Restaurant Week starts on, uh, on the 14th of, uh, of November and goes through the, 20, uh, through the 23rd. And uh, Restaurant Week encompasses um, most of the main, uh, main islands, um, Anagata, Tortola, Virgin Gorda, um, Joss Van Dyke, uh, we also have um, Cooper Island and some of the others um, participating. And the idea is to get as many restaurants uh, involved as, as possible so both visitor and local alike can sample or try a restaurant that maybe they might not um, you know, have, have visited before. The restaurants will still maintain their regular menus but all of them are offering a special menu for the um, for restaurant week. Uh, all of the participating restaurants will be listed on um, on our on our website. Um, we uh, suggest reservations, but reservations are not um, are not are not mandatory. Mm -hmm. um, during the entire month as well, we're also also featuring something called local Fridays, mm. uh, where we're even in, we're encouraging all of the restaurants in the BVI to offer BVI dishes on Fridays. Mm -hmm. We would love for every restaurant to have at least one BVI um, menu, um, menu item. So we're looking at, you know, our fish and fungi, or fish in, uh, in mayonnaise mm -hmm. sauce, or Johnny Cakes, or Oxdale. Mm -hmm. So we're looking, um, we're looking at that because visitors come to experience BVI and visitors travel for food. Uh, when you're on vacation, there are two things you, base, you you sort of like think about when you're on vacation. Eating and drinking. Eating and drinking. Yes, yes. So um, this, is, this is something that we're um, trying to capitalize on as well because culinary is one of the three uh, major trends uh, right now uh, in, in travel. And uh, we're, I believe we're at a, at a good place to capitalize on that. We have a nice range of restaurants within um, within the BVI. Um, yes, the, we have the, the the side restaurants, the little, the small bar that maybe just features two or three uh, different Dish, items, lo the, the local dishes, local dishes, dishes. Mm -hmm. um, or barbecues are are very good. I remember we had uh, one of our agencies, our PR agencies from the U.S. Um, was down, and yes, we gave them. A gamut of restaurants for uh, for them to visit, and um, when we asked her what was the most enjoyable uh, meal that she had, and it was actually from one of the food vans, um, is where she went and bought lunch, and she kept raving about how good the barbecue was. Mm -hmm. yes. So. Um, you know, sometimes it's not the fanciness of, uh, of, of the place. And you'd still find that even our visitors who stay in the fanciest of, of, of hotels, okay. they <laughs> still want to have that one experience where they can go home and say, geez, you know, I went out fishing and I went on the same fish that I caught. You know, they did it on the grill and everything for me. And I had it just like the locals. Yeah. And, and, and I think it's, it's, it's important uh, for us to know that... Um, when pe people go, out, go abroad, they want to have the food of the place where they go. Yes. You know, like the American don't want to come to the BVI to eat American no, food. No, no. You know, I a, mean, a European don't want to come to the BVI to eat uh, European and food. And when you travel as well <coughs> to, you know, uh, in conversations, they, and you talk about food, they ask you, well, what is, what is the dish from, what, your, what, from, what is from your country? country yes. Or when I go to your country, what should 
you know, what, what should, should I, I what should I eat or what bar should um should I go to to get good local food? Yes. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um so we're looking to capitalize, as I said, on that um and we're marketing, you know, heavily in the uh, in the United States and uh, in the in the UK. In fact, uh, since this is our first expanded month of food activities. We're working with quite a few um, journalists and travel agents. In fact, we're hosting about seven different uh, familiarization trips with either journalists or travel agents during the month of November. You got something coming up with uh, with St. Thomas? You yes. Trying yeah. to get the St. Thomas to we're come over. We're trying to get the, the St. Thomas. Um, the, uh, uh, the other Virgin, Virgin Islands. Island, other Virgin Islands. Island, you to, know, to come over. when you talk to a lot of them, they also talk about the food and the BVI, the fish and the BVI, the Wilkes and the conks, etc. Mm -hmm. So uh, they've invited us to uh, participate in an event uh, over in, uh, in St. Thomas on November 13th, which is called uh, the, Taste of, um, the Taste of Two Islands. So we're taking um, you know, a few of our chefs over and um, we're featuring our spiny lobster. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that you know, the lobster will be so succulent that they're gonna get on the boat rides from St. Thomas because we do have boat rides from St. Thomas and St. John for the Coming lobster again, fest. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So we're excited about that event because um, there is tourism for us. There are visitors for BVI to be had close by. And, and, and we're, we're, we're trying to, to work towards that from a culinary standpoint. And we've done a little bit with it even as you can see how popular the, the, the horse racing uh, is and, uh, and our festivals as well. Yes. Now, <clears throat> you, you, you have a vision. All these things that you're doing uh, now, this is like the beginning. Uh, this yes. is like sometimes, I think what, like, like the second or third year into, <laughs> into some of these events. Yes. And, and I know you have a vision for, for what you're doing. And, 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 and I think it's an important and interesting vision that you need to, to, to let the public know about in, in, in terms of us having events that people around the world plan to attend. It, it develops at such a level. So it's like, like, the, like the music festival, for yes. example. It develops at such a level that people say, uh, uh, in, on the end of November, uh, I'm, going next year, I'm, I'm going to be in the BVI yes. for the lobster fest. At the end, in the beginning of November, I'm going to be in the, uh, the BVI for the, for, for the culinary week or the, or the BVI uh, food yes. fest. And that's some <coughs> of what is, um, what is driving um, my team and I. It is, it is very important for us that we not only look at what's good for tourism today, we need to look at what is good for us in the future and uh, building out events, special events, that can drive uh, traffic, again, to, to, the um, mm -hmm. to the territory. And look at doing things that are, um, you know, it's a little cliche to say, outside of the, of the box. We need to think differently and throw the box away completely and look at, again, what can we do to, to stand out and build this event out. When, the, when Lobster Fest was conceptualized, um, we thought it was a, it was a good idea. Um, we now see it as a great idea and to build on. And that's one of the reasons why it was called the Lobster Festival and not just a food festival. Because even just having that name, Lobster Festival, it is such a big seller. It has its own brand. It has its own branding, and you have persons coming just because of that lobster, because our spiny lobster has a different taste than the main lobster or what else is, is out there. Mm -hmm. So that name in itself sells and puts us apart. How many um, countries can boast of having a lobster festival? Um, there are not, none in the Caribbean that have a lobster festival. There are no other islands in the Caribbean who can feature a culinary program for an entire month with so much diversity. Um, the idea that we market as well with the BVI now is you can have breakfast on one island, lunch on another, dinner yeah, on, another. on another, and go back to your, um, your hotel or your boat. And there are not very many destinations that, um, that can boast that. So we're looking at that um, for the future. We say 60 islands, 
one unforgettable experience. Now we're also saying 60 islands, one flavorful uh, experience. <laughs> and that's the market for, uh, for the future. Okay. Yeah. We fall on the turn of the clock. Uh, what, what, what did we leave? What did we leave? Uh, what did we leave out? Uh, yeah. going, into the, uh, going into the last, um, last week, still some activities at, um, at, uh, at Peter Island um, and, at, um, and at Scrub Island. And of course, we're culminating the month with um, our lobster festival. We're encouraging those of you, if you haven't booked your hotel rooms um, yet, you really need to, um, to need to do need so. To do, to do so. Yes. And uh, if it is that the hotels tell you that uh, they're full, please tell them to put you on, um, on a wait list. And there are lots of boat rides going to, um, you know, to Anagata. Speedies is doing, um, is doing their thing. There, there are the boats out of St. Thomas. Um, the, um, there's going to be some party boats as well. And we're even encouraging companies and, uh, and businesses to use the Anagata Lobster Festival as a team building, um, team building activity and mm -hmm. do something, you know, with the with your company, with the with the with all of your employees. Yeah, ab absolutely, that's a great that's and a great idea. And take them to Anagata uh -huh. because we need for you to be able to sell the BVI too. Every person living in the BVI should be a walking ad for BVI. Absolutely, and um, I mean, it just came to my mind when you talk about uh, hotels being full. Uh, I don't know uh, if, if it's a good idea to encourage Anagadians who have extra rooms in their house. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pam and you and I are on the same wavelength because we talked about that with our staff today. And uh, mm -hmm. Kyle, if you're watching, that was one of the things we mentioned to say that if it is that the island fills up like that and we, we run out of accommodations, maybe there are Anagadians who would be willing to... to Give a visitor an Anagata experience by having them stay in their home yes. and experience, you know, what it is to, you know, to prepare, live. Prepare, prepare, and prepare breakfast for them at exactly, least. Exactly, in Anagata. In Anagata. And that yeah. is, you know, and that's another way that tourism is going to, where um, you, you look at, um, at ethnic and, um, and, and community tourism, where the whole community gets involved in being a part of the product so that it's not only the sea and the sand and the food that's a part of the product but the people uh, are part of the product as well and they, and there are people who travel and want to stay with a family yes you know they yes. want to have that family experience they want to stay in somebody's home they want to eat the food that they eat and they want to be a, a, yeah, a, they a want to be able to they want to be able to party experience, and, experience, yeah, and, 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 and to enjoy and experience, experience the culture yes. in that they way they don't want it um uh, they a, don't a create, want a created it, experience for yes, them. They want the, the, the yes, natural experience. They want to have the fish like we have yeah, the, the fish in the in the mayonnaise sauce, yeah. and they want to have the fungi with the with the okra in it. They want to try the peppermint candy and the sweet potato. S some of them uh, might even want. Some of them might even want to go to church. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so we need. We as I said, we yes. need to look at these different um, at these different avenues for uh, tourism. Food is. Um, Food is one of them. We the BVI I says whenever I go anywhere, um, you know, it's good to travel. But for me, I feel such a sense of calm and peace when I get back into the BVI and I see, you know, and I see that water. Yeah. Um, it's just something about the BVI that is just so, so very special. Absolutely, it's it's great to have you. And great talking to you. And I know that I'll see you at the Lobster Festival. Uh, for sure. For God willing. <laughs> yes, God willing. God willing. I'll definitely Thank be you there. for inviting us, um, um, Cromwell. Uh, yes, and of course, we're going to be talking more, more you know, you, uh, some other members of the Tourist Board as the month goes by. We're going to come by on Spotlight and we're going to yes. talk about some other Once th individuals. Once we get closer to the activities, they'll be able to, the, commit the, the committee chairpersons, they will be able to give specific information on the activity that they're responsible for. Good job. It's, yes. it's, it's great to see you. I mean, it's really, the tourist board is really coming alive, I think. <laughs> we're, we're keeping busy. Yes. We're keeping busy. Good. Thank and, you and, again, Cromwell. And we need the money. The BBI, of course. BBI needs of the course. money. Of course. We always need yes, that. Yes, the BVI needs the money. <laughs> so as much, as you can, as, much tourist, as much tourism as you can sell, yes. we, we need the money. But we need everyone's help to do that as well, too. Absolutely. The yes. whole country needs to get behind of that. Of course. Yes. Great, great, great. Yes. Great conversation with Sharon Flex Mars, director of the tourist board. I want to thank her very much for coming, of course, and 
Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed the conversation as much as I did. And I'm looking forward to all the activities coming up. And I'm sure you're looking forward to it as well. And don't forget, you can call the tourist board to get more information. Or you can go to bvifoodfest.com. bvifoodfest.com. -E -E get more information. How can you invest in a cruise spare development project? What is the return on your investment? These questions and more will be answered next week when the BVI Post Authority officials sit under the spotlight. So be sure to tune in. Spotlight is seen live Tuesdays at 8 p.m. here on JTV Channel 55 and rebroadcast Sundays at 2.30 p.m. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your criticisms, words of encouragement, and your suggestions. Like our Spotlight Facebook page and watch the discussions you miss. Find out about upcoming guests and topics or suggest topics and guests you'd like to see on uh, Spotlight. I'm Ed Juenka reminding you that when the Spotlight is on, you see the facts. Peace and blessings. Spotlight is brought to you by Tortola Concrete Limited and H. Lavity South Community College.